Greetings, graduates. I am Dr. Regina Stanbeck Stroud, the Chancellor of the Peralta Community College District. And on the behalf of the Peralta Community College District Board of Trustees, the community we serve, the professional staff, the esteemed faculty, and extraordinary administrative leadership team, all educators who played a role in getting you to this point, I want to welcome you to the 2020 commencement ceremony. And while I have your attention, and hopefully for the next three minutes, I want to convey how important you are. This society needs you. For what, you ask? We need you to have a critical consciousness about the way of the world and how you dedicate your life's work to making it better for others. We need you to stand up and speak out to preserve this planet so that future generations behind you so that future generations can thrive. We need you to value science, the arts, humanities, social sciences as significant factors that should inform our way of being. And we need you to have a purpose. It's a purpose that would be informed by people that you care for, by the passions you have and the lived realities of your own lives, but it is a purpose nonetheless that is far greater than yourself. You see, you are graduating at a time where there are those that are in some of the highest and most powerful offices of the land who are literally debating what has been known as settled science. They are normalizing issues in society that had been rendered unacceptable, such as racism and bigotry and inhumane public policy that separates families and issues that exacerbate human misery. Many of them are educated, but they have allowed ideology to override their educated selves. So I will ask you to take care and to be aware, to use your education to make the world better. Yes, you are educated. You have the ability to articulate your knowledge in ways that serve you and others. However, to do so, you have to have a critical consciousness in this globalized context, some cultural and social and racial literacy I want you to understand and to acknowledge the power of language, and I want you to understand and acknowledge the language of power. That's what you must remember. If you're to use your education to make a difference in this world, to make sure that it even mattered that you were on this earth in the first place, an intense understanding of the concepts of power and the socio-political underpinnings that impact our realities are a prerequisite not only for your success, but for our survival. Here's another memorable part. I ask you to take a look. Think of the faculty who served you in this journey. If you have seen it, think of them in their academic regalia as I am wearing now. This is what it looks like to give a lifetime work, commitment, scholarship, and service to making sure that you have this moment in time to serve in something other than yourselves. So take a moment and consider the sheer selflessness of this type of commitment that the faculty have made to you. Another thing, you did not get here alone. You had help along the way from someone friends, families, strangers. Now it's time for you to consider helping others. Start a small scholarship, even if it's just a hundred bucks that buys a book or some class material for someone else who's coming up behind you. Contact Lenise Jones over in this Peralta Community College District Foundation office and pay it forward as you leave us behind. Remember this college. Think of us as you make career choices. Come back and be professors and directors and coordinators and vice presidents and public safety officers and facilities staff and classified staff and auxiliary staff and even presidents and chancellors. Come back because we so desperately need and appreciate you in order to stand up here the next year and the next year and the next year in service of those who will follow you. Finally, leave us with this idea in mind. This nation of immigrants is already great because people used their strength in education, no matter what level, formal or informal,
to work hard to challenge the status quo and to stand up to injustice. People looked at the issues of their times and gave their blood, sweat, and tears, and hearts and souls so that many could learn, so that you could learn, so that you could live together, walk together, talk, eat, play together. Moreover, believe it or not, these rights and privileges are not set in stone. If you fail to pay attention, to act, you can lose the very thing that lives were lost to get for you in the first place, and that is your democracy, your freedom, much, many of us take for granted. So we are witnessing firsthand what it looks like to deny the humanity of wholesale communities, of people based on their immigration status. And this nation was built by immigrants who voluntarily and involuntarily arrived at our shores. It is great because of immigrants. Let us not forget what it looks like when we are kind, when we are caring, when we are empathetic and compassionate to no end. That's what it looks like when we are educated as well. If you have the right and the ability to do so, then vote. Vote as if your lives and the lives of people that you love depend on it, because it does. I wish you all the success and the happiness you deserve. Congratulations to all of you, class of 2020. Congratulations to Berkeley City College, class of 2020. I am Dr. Angelica Garcia, and as your newly appointed president, it brings me great honor and pride to celebrate you today. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of the Peralta Community College District, our Chancellor, Dr. Regina Stambach Stroud, and the esteemed faculty, classified professionals, and administrators of Berkeley City College, it is my great pleasure to welcome the class of 2020, your family and friends, to this year's graduation. Graduates, we celebrate you, your accomplishments, and your dreams and aspirations. These are extraordinary times which call upon the extraordinary strengths embedded in each and every one of you. Your perseverance, work ethic, commitment, and academic brilliance are evident as we celebrate you today. Your ability to commit to your academic studies, your jobs, raising your families, and cultivating a meaningful life are all key factors contributing to your success. Berkeley City College's mission is to promote student success, to provide our diverse community with educational opportunities, and to transform lives. The college achieves this mission through instruction, student support, and learning resources, which enable students to earn associate degrees and certificates that lead to career, transfer, and lifelong skills. And today, dear graduates, as you are surrounded by your community, your family, and friends, Take a moment to breathe. Take it in. You have earned the right to be celebrated and honored among the thousands of college graduates in these United States. Today's commencement is not your traditional ceremony, but your community of faculty, classified professionals, and administrators are with you in spirit and participating virtually. Graduates, we are honored that you chose to ascend Berkeley City College. You have invited our faculty, staff, and administrators to be a part of your journey, and we are grateful to you. Your presence, contributions, and leadership have forever shaped this college. Your imprints are firmly pressed upon the classrooms, the labs, the library, the associated students of Berkeley City College, and our surrounding community. The class of 2020 will forever be the class that taught us about resilience, ganas, strength, and the sheer determination to come together in community amidst the uncertainty of this health pandemic. For when one person succeeds, we all succeed. Your commencement program today includes words of wisdom from your peers in your salutatorian and valedictorian. Though this may not be the commencement you imagined for yourself, please accept this virtual celebration as a sincere and humble offering to honor your academic, career, and personal accomplishments. Hello and greetings to the class of 2020. This is Julina Bonilla, the board president of the Peralta Community College District. I'm sending you this message uh, via pre-record um, with a very heavy heart. Um, as we are in the middle of COVID-19, I don't want that to take away at all from all of the hard work, the dedication that you 
um, have accomplished in achieving um, your goals and your dreams um, this year in 2020. I wanna thank you um, for um, bringing to Peralta, um, the Peralta Community Colleges, your best um, efforts, um, especially enduring um, all that you must as students to accomplish your goals. I think, I think you're all amazing. I look forward to um, hearing more about your future endeavors, um, about your uh, continued education and professional goals, and really um, want to just thank you from the bottom of my heart um, that um, we appreciate you, we honor our students. I am honored um, to be a trustee in this district um, to represent you and your educational goals. I also want to thank your families and friends for all the support that they offered you uh, during this particular time. And um, I just want to say, stay strong, think positive. We will get through uh, this current situation, um, although I know that it will forever change um, how we move in the world, we will move differently. But I also think that because of you and because of your um, ingenuity, because of your um, perspective on life, that you will also um, be a force in helping us um, create a pathway forward. Again, congratulations to you, class of 2020. I look forward um, to talking with you in the very near future. This is Congresswoman Barbara Lee representing the beautiful 13th Congressional District of California, the most enlightened district in the nation, and that's because of you. This is a very difficult time for everyone, and I am so sorry I can't be there to say congratulations in person. But let me take this moment to say congratulations to the class of 2020. You did it. We are facing an unprecedented challenge in our country and around the planet because of this deadly pandemic. As of today, more than 86,000 people have lost their lives in this country, and a disproportionate number of those are people of color. Every one of those losses is a tragedy, and my heart and condolences go out to those families and friends who have lost loved ones. I want to recognize all of the frontline workers in hospitals, in grocery stores, in emergency services, our postal workers, everyone who is working every day to keep people safe and healthy and fed. I'm here in Washington, D.C., working very hard to get support for families and communities that have been hardest hit by this virus. It is critical that we keep working to get everyone the help they need. We can't allow poor people and communities of color to bear the worst burdens of this crisis while we bail out the wealthiest corporations. To this year's graduates of Berkeley City College, the College of Alameda, Laney College, and Merritt College, I know you are graduating in uncertain times but your time has come to rise to these occasions. But I wanna tell you that I am so proud of you for all of the work you have done to get to this point. All of you have faced adversity and prevailed to get here today. This is a real accomplishment and you all deserve to celebrate today. And remember that this is just the beginning. Keep working hard and keep fighting for what you believe in. You have many more accomplishments and successes ahead of you. And a special thank you to the teachers and staff of Peralta Colleges, to Chancellor Stroud, and to the Board of Trustees. I am truly inspired by the work that you do every day for these beautiful and brilliant students. Finally, no matter what you do after you graduate, be bold, be fearless, be compassionate, be visionary, and yes, shake things up. You are the new generation of leaders who will save the planet, who will bring peace to a world torn by violence, who will realize true criminal justice reform, who will strengthen our public education system for the young people following in your footsteps. I'll leave you with the words 
of one of the greatest humanitarians of our time, Marion Wright Edelman, founder of the Children's Defense Fund. She said, education is for improving the lives of others and for leaving your community and the world better than you found it. With your pursuit of education and your achievements here today, you have the capacity to change the lives of people around the world for the better. And I am confident that you will do it. So once again, congratulations to graduates of the Peralta Community Colleges. I am Dr. Felicia Bridges, the Classified Senate President. I just want to say that you are amazing. I say this because you have accomplished something in an extraordinary time in world history. We will never forget this moment. It is permanently imprinted into our lives campus. And this makes you forever amazing. When you look back at this time, remember that it was remarkable. An indelible time in which you made an incredible accomplishment. It takes fortitude to endure the unknown in the best of times. And you finished in one of the most tumultuous epochs in human history. You are amazing that you saw beyond the present chaos and persevered. Your perseverance has paid off. Put a stamp on it. It definitely is a chip that you can bank on. Now you can use your Berkeley City College moments to propel you through any circumstances that presents you in the future. Use your accomplishment to ground you when you think you are facing insurmountable circumstances. And remember, you can get through this. Just say to yourself, I graduated from Berkeley City College in the spring of 2020 in the middle of a pandemic. Now it's important that you know that you are a part of the Berkeley City College family. We are the family that nudged you through, provided a shoulder and gave you reassuring words because we had faith in you and we will continue to have faith. We will always be here to support you with your aspirations, your life's resets, your career changing, welcoming new babies who we want you to encourage to attend Berkeley City College. If you are a lifelong learner, we will always be the well to draw on. As you move forward, if I could impart any words of wisdom to an amazing person, you got this and you already know to never sweat the, sm the small stuff or the big stuff either. Be forever hopeful and helpful. Most importantly, continue to be amazing. Hi, my name is Janine Greer and I am a faculty member at Berkeley City College and this is a message to the glad grads of 2020 from the faculty. Congratulations on making it through a really challenging semester. I started out the semester feeling like changes in the wind and man, I had no idea what kind of changes that we were going to have to go through. I had no idea that we were all going to have to get on the COVID-19 struggle bus. All of us together with Lysol and hand sanitizer. Just think about where we've been. In the middle of March, all of a sudden our spring break is rescheduled. We come back from an extended spring break to a welcome distraction of school and we have to go to class on Zoom and our classrooms look like this. And in the back of our minds, we're thinking, who wears a mask? When do I wear a mask? I have to wash my hands all the time. I have to stay home. Where's the Lysol? How do I find toilet paper? Am I okay? Are my family members okay? And how do I get through school? It's been a wild ride. So thank you for being patient with us, as I know there were a lot of bumps and potholes and twists and sharp turns. I know it was hard. And thank you for being patient with yourself. 
give yourselves a pat on the back. Thanks for sticking with it. You can stand shoulder to shoulder with your colleagues as the class of 2020 who graduated during a pandemic. That is a group of folks that have some grit. And amidst all this uncertainty, there's an opportunity. There's an opportunity to embrace change. In order for anything to grow, there has to be some change. Think about it. You started out as a baby and you changed into a child and then you changed into a teenager and changed into an adult and the person that you are now. Sheltering in place has changed us all a little bit. We're experiencing this pandemic together and we've learned how to keep going in the midst of it. Each and every one of us has had to stretch beyond our comfort zone just a little bit. And that's okay, stretching is required when it's time to grow. I'm sorry we can't come together like we usually do and give high fives and hugs and balloons and eat cake. I want you to know that all of the faculty members at BCC are behind you every step of the way. So when you look at your diploma, remember we are giving you high fives in our hearts and we are sending you hugs and love. We are all proud of you. Remember, you're part of a community who believe in education, creativity, and social justice. It might feel daunting right now and things might be hard. Lean on the fact that you are part of a community of people who have overcome many, many things. We have grit. You are a BCC graduate. You are built for this. Congratulations. Hello everyone. Uh, I'd like to congratulate you all on graduating from Berkeley City College. This is a tremendous accomplishment for all of us, and I know it definitely is for me personally. When I first came to this school, I was doubtful that I would even graduate, let alone become the valedictorian. I came to this school with a lack of confidence, both socially and academically, and in my first year here, I failed to reach out socially or take advantage of any of the academic support that was being offered. For me, the thought of facing my academics and graduating from a community college all on my own without any social support was completely overwhelming. And in my first year here, I found myself studying, not because I wanted to learn, but because I was afraid to fail. I began to gain a more positive attitude towards academics and community college in general in my second year at BCC. I remember at the start of the year, I had just started thinking about where I was going to transfer to, and I'd scheduled an appointment with a counselor to discuss the transfer process. After the appointment, my counselor, Fatima Shah, pointed me in the direction of the Career and Transfer Center. I remember I sort of peeked into the transfer center from across the hall, but after um, accidentally making eye contact with the transfer center employee, I decided I would leave. As I was leaving, Mohamed Sanusi, the lead transfer assistant, ran up to me and asked me if I was thinking about coming in. I decided I would check it out, and I soon found myself feeling overwhelmed with just how much kindness and support the Transfer Center employees were willing to offer. For my first time at BCC, I felt that I was not alone in my academic journey. After this experience, I began to reach out more socially, gaining peer support and also finding friends who were interested in the same things that I was. As I began to build a network of friends who were passionate about learning the same things that I was learning, I found myself studying, not out of fear that I would fail, but because I genuinely wanted to learn. For me, communal support and the notion that we are all in this together is what Berkeley City College is all about. And in my time here, I've learned that with the help of my friends and my professors, there's no limit to what I can achieve. In this time of quarantine and sheltering in place, it is especially easy to fall into the trap of social isolation and it's extra important that we carry the BCC values of communal support with us moving forward. If we can reach out to a friend to give support, if we can reach out to a friend for support, be it online or over the phone, if we can stick together during these trying times, then there's no limit to what we can achieve. Once again, I'd like to congratulate all of you on this amazing accomplishment. And I'd also like to thank you for helping to create such a kind, supportive, and caring community that has made our school so special. I'd also like to thank all of the professors, the faculty, the student workers, and the student-run clubs who have worked so hard to keep this school going. 
I wish all of you the best of luck moving forward, and thank you for giving me the chance to speak to you today. Hello fellow graduates and families of graduates. My name is Violet Mirov, and I'm so grateful to be your salutatorian. Although I'm saddened that we cannot walk the stage together, I am pleased to be able to speak to you today. Thank you. I started attending Berkeley City College when I was 15 years old. I told no one my age because I was afraid that my peers would see me as a kid and my professors would treat me differently. I had no idea what major I wanted to be or what career path I wanted to take. However, I've always been so grateful that Berkeley City College is a school that students wanted to attend rather than had to attend. I took mostly electives my first year to figure out what I was interested in. I went to student government meetings and sat in the back of the room because I was too afraid to speak to anyone. I then became a senator in the Associated Students of Berkeley City College. I attended shared governance meetings to discuss getting earlier enrollment dates for students like me. That semester I took my first psychology course with my favorite professor, Dr. Melina Bersaman. She showed me that I wanted a future in psychology. I later took all of her classes that she taught. The next year, I became a Vice President of Administration in the ASPCC. The ASPCC and Campus Life Director offered me a job and I accepted. I still work in Campus Life and I have been for over a year. Today, I'm 18 years old and I am receiving an Associate's Degree in Psychology and transferring to San Francisco University. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. I'm grateful for my family who has supported me through everything, even when they thought I was gonna be a lonely 15 year old at a school I could not keep up with. I love you all. I'm grateful for my friends and my peers. I'm grateful for the two amazing bosses I've had at Berkeley City College. And I'm grateful for the entire institution at Berkeley City College that has made me into the adult I am today. Thank you. Tina Afshari. Saron Mikias Akalu Batul Saleh Aledla Vanessa Veronica Alfaro Maybelline Rocio Alferez Samuel Antoine Amick Tristan T. Appel Bernstein Ployphalin Aria Pakdi Pranapa Aria Pakdi Teresa Ari Guy Avoth Leonard Carl Badger Vivian Lizette Balderas Maral Batdelger Marcel Blanco Valdez Sarah Joy Bruno Fernando Campos Virginia Estela Cardenas Norangel Nicole Castillo Peguero Herminio Castro Jamila Catacoli Janie Contreras David Daniel Cotton Ashley Taylor Davis Olivier Du Bajalan Fernando D. Marcos 
Senabu Diang. Colin Reese Dodsworth. Taima C. Duggan. Allison Durand. Kalima Zakira El Amin. Gail Feldman. Lee Feng. Enrique Ferreira Menezes. Daisha Montrese Fitzgerald. Angelica Ray Foster. Faith Ann Golden. Jayla Simone Goller. Marisol Gonzalez Granados. Janelle Gonzalez. Alicia Yumira Gonzalez Geronimo. Gloria Maria Gonzalez Martin. Christopher Anthony Guerrero. Carrie L. Guerrero. Linnea S. Hanna. Claudia Lisette Hernandez. Gurpreet Carr. Jujar Singh Khalsa. William Pryor Letchworth. Eri Ishihara Lycus. Bradley Lawrence Lincoln. Richard Lira Gonzalez. Jennifer Lopez. Wipawi Lochai. Isabel Majid Cutlin. Jamal J. Mahone. Twinkamal J. Marone. Emma Wayan Mastra. Daniela Abigail Malara. Yvette Michelle Marino. Trayvon Kenneth Mims. Jinlin Ming. Leslie Montes Paredes. Eric B. Montes Vega. Maria Paula Moreno Vivas. Seth Anton Monkey. Violet Murav. Rahula Najibi.
duyen tai mai nuyen. Azumi Okamoto. Tenzing Paulden. Carlos Martin Patino. Lilium Perez Avila. Susanna J. Praver. Sharara Mohammed Rahim. Laura Marie Rambo. Ernesto Ramirez. Francesca Zamora Ramos. Ashley Nicole Ranger. Alana Maria Gallego Riato. Mascan Salim. Alexander Gregory Schofield. Casey Maria Segovia. Mohammed Karim Sanusi. Olga Sergienko. Marina Silva de São Chiago. Fabiana Snaith. Oksana Solomon. Janya Efe Solwazi. Jason Edward Samite Servos. Danielle Azali Tally. Angela Edith Tojalino Paredes. Leslie D. Townsend. Brian P. Tran. Jyoti Jerome Tulather. Taylor Unson. Swan Chen Vinogradova. Stephanie Hong Yale. Hui Yang Yu. Jing Yuan. Yennefer Oxlaj Zarat. Lillian Zhou. By the authority vested in me by the Peralta Community College Board of Trustees and Board of Governors of State of California, I confer upon you the degrees of Associate of Arts, Associate of Sciences, Associate Degrees of Transfer, Certificates of Achievements, and Certificates of Proficiency. Graduates, if you have a cap, please move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations. Graduates, we have come to the close of your time at Berkeley City College. As a member of the class of 2020, you are among some of the most talented scholars, artists, scientists, linguists, engineers, writers, activists, and leaders. Many of you will transfer to institutions as close as UC Berkeley, 
UC Davis, UC Santa Cruz, Cal State East Bay, San Francisco State University, and as far away as Michigan State University. Your success in transferring to a four-year institution is testament to the years of work you have put in and the support you have received along the way. Among you are future leaders in computer information systems, the multimedia arts, and disciplines that will be seen as essential functions for operating in a virtual world. For those of you entering the workforce, we need your brilliance, your talents, and your skills to contribute to the economic fabric of our community. As the class of 2020, we expect you to lead our community, our region, our state, our country, with vision and with compassion for one another. Your education at Berkeley City College has prepared you for the journey ahead. Continue to accomplish that which is important to you, your family, and your community. Take a moment to thank those who have supported you along the way. Your partner, your parent, your child, your siblings, your abuelita, your community members. That you stand on the shoulders of giants who have paved the way for your successes. You are the expert in your own lives, so be bold, be courageous, be vulnerable, be human. It is in our humanity that we can transcend and disrupt the system forms of oppression that have been sanctioned by those in the highest positions of power. Be proud to be a Berkeley City College graduate, for we are so very proud of you. Graduates, it is my distinct honor to consider these commencement exercises closed. You are now members of the graduating class of 2020. I wish each and every one of you all the very best in your future endeavors.